You got a hundred thousand people here and they all had stories to tell. This is the three generations working on the snowy and there's my father and my mum and then my son Ronnie and myself. Dad had an interview in Hamburg when we were still in, in Germany of course and, uh, and anyway he sat us down and said look I'm going to see if I can get a job in, in Australia and will we all for it and uh, so that was my sister, myself, my mum. And uh, we said, yeah, that'd be an experience. That was in June. By September, Dad was on the Scopian, the ship coming to Australia. When I first came to Cooma, I was only 18, and I had not seen a migrant. And suddenly there were more migrants here than anything else. However, it was not long before we were working with them shoulder to shoulder and they were just the same as us. There was a, a, a clerk working in system design, the office where I first joined as a student for two weeks. He was, he was in the German army in World War II. He was an anti-aircraft gunner. He was shooting down the Allies' planes. And yet, here in Cooma, he took part in the Anzac Day March. He was so glad to bring his wife and children and make a new life in Australia away from that terrible war. Too, and uh, at the time went to you know, to go to the mess for a feed, they were monjare, and so to get down to the mess. And so they learned some of our words, generally the bad ones, and uh, uh, we learned some of theirs, generally the bad ones too. <laughs> On the job, there was a great sense of teamwork. You supported one another. You had a responsibility to each other. And you were working together to do the job properly. We all sort of came from broken countries and, uh, and we all came together here and, and formed these friendships. Like, I had friends, my friends were um, Estonian, there was Hungarian, there was Italians, and you know, we all went out together and we had fun and we learned to cook from each other, you know. I sort of learned the Italian by cooking and a bit of Hungarian and and they learned German by the sauerkraut and the schnitzel. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it was great. And I think this is why people just kept living here too, wanting to stay here. When I heard about the heritage listing of the Snowy, and and I was just blown away. I, I'm just, you know, it's just beautiful to to think that all the people who work on the scheme will be remembered, and this, you know, and our grandchildren, great grandchildren probably hear about and want to know more about the scheme. And I am really proud, you know, I'm so proud of the, having worked there and my father worked so hard, you know, and he gave us, um, he gave us uh, a new meaning, you know, life. And uh, yeah, I'd be so happy to do this all over again. <laughs>